So hi friends, good evening and welcome to another session with me, Varun Rao on Tech Tablet. On today's session, we would be looking at the use of a formatter in the SAP UI5 application. So in the last session, we have seen how to create an XML view in Eclipse and this XML view that we have created, it was primarily created on the uh, split screen application correct but in today's session we would be doing a bit more on the application so in, in the last session we stopped at this point we were done with data binding on the master view and then we stopped correct so in this session we would as discussed take a step further and uh, that would be the aim of the session so uh, the steps would be first one would be to use a formatter in sap ui5 the second one would be how to connect a view to a formatter and the third one would be basic level data binding using eclipse now the third one which is basic level data binding would be understood implicitly but then the first and second one would be focused on explicitly in today's session so welcome and let us begin Right, so this is where we stopped in the previous session. If you all remember, this is the line that I have added here. All right, now the status text can be eliminated because there is nothing that I have of that functionality as such. And just to give you a small walkthrough before we begin, uh, in the previous session, we have created a small uh, search field. I've just you know added a small bar to the search field this is my output. I've just added a small bar on the empty. Uh, and if we can just remove that, you know, I mean the comment lines, we would also be able to see a bar, which would, you know, probably enhance the look and feel of your application. So again, going back. Great, so I have a bar. So now both these pages look familiar. It, it's not like the page on the left, which is the master page is totally out of sync with how your detailed page is looking like. All right. So the first change has been made on uh, the view level. Now what I would be doing is I have given uh, the path of my formatter. You know, this is the namespace of my application followed by UTIL, which is the name of my folder. And within this, I have a file called formatter and within my formatter, uh, I would now come up with you know the code required for me to change the date format. Now this is the date format that I'm able to see right now, but then I would want a DD MM -Y 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 kind of you know a dating uh, parameter. So let's see uh, how I can achieve that functionality. So to to complete this, the first step would be to add the formatter path after your path. The second step would be to go to your formatter.js file. Now this is a JavaScript file, all right? Now you can name this whatever you want. Formatter.js is what I've named. So now in order to begin with, what I would be doing is uh, jquery.sap.declare. Now within this, I'll be giving the namespace of my application. So let me just copy this. All right, uh, but then, yeah, it would be formatted. Now this would become global. Uh, now after this, I'll again, you know, uh, you know, write something very similar, but then this time it would be require. Okay, now when I say require, this also would go within brackets. I would be using scp.ui.core dot format dot date format now this is the one that i would be using to you know get my date format you know formatter or to get my date format you know functionality available now when i get my date format functionality this way which is an sap ui core libraries you know thing i would be able to give the respective date format which is ddmm -Y, 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 y all right now that is the reason why i have used this and uh, here in line number one we've used that to make it global okay now that's a global declaration 
So let me see what the path is that I have specified here. I have not specified any path. So because this has got something to do with the date, uh, let me just name it as a date here. Saving this, going back to my formatter. And now let me, you know, enter the piece of code or, you know, the logic required to, you know, access the view and also to change the format of the date that's available for us. So I'll, you know, first have to define the name of my uh, application. Okay, so that would come here, dot the name of my folder, dot the name of my file. Okay, now because this is the path of my formatter, I would have to define this followed by a flower bracket. And now I am open to do, you know, whatever I want. Uh, let me also close the flower bracket. Guys, now it is always a good practice to, you know, close the flower brackets the moment you or, or probably in any brackets for that case the curly the braces are you know some people call it the curly braces the flower brackets or or you know square brackets any brackets that you're opening it's always a good practice that you could close them right in the beginning in order to avoid confusion later right so here goes my logic i have you know taken date as the name of my you know functionality it is you know this is the path so this would be, you know, the specific uh, name of the functionality that I'll have to enter. So that would be consuming my logic from formatter.js. All right. So it would be date because this is JavaScript. Uh, you know, this, I hope you would be knowing basics of JavaScript. All right. Now here I am, you know, free to enter the required code or the required logic. Right, so you know, as I, uh, you know, as I was just discussing, this would be JavaScript logic that you would be entering now, right? Uh, and if you're looking for any further insights, or you know, if you're looking for uh, you know a deeper understanding on this module, you can always write back to us. You have the comment section below. We have mentioned the name of the website, and um, uh, you know, we have given all other we, we we have furnished with all of the details, you know, including the Instagram. Uh, wherein we post a lot of infographics. We have, you know, we, we are up and live on, uh, we, we have a website, you know, we have a YouTube channel, we have a, a mail that you can always write us to. So yeah, anything that you want to share in person or in public, uh, you are most welcome to do so. Okay, so I am considering a variable. Okay, now before I take a variable also, let me, you know, start with a if function, okay? Now, uh, you know, I, if my value is coming as, you know, the way I want, then it's okay. Failing to which I would want something else to happen. So let me give that. Okay, my date format is sap.ui.code dot format all right i i guys now this piece of code which i'm extracting from this is a class that you would be able to find in the sdk i was just working on this before i was i i started recording this video so i kind of have an idea of what i'm typing uh would request you to make a note of the same from the sdk so that you have a profound understanding of the same right <clears throat> it is format dot Format dot get date time instance. Right. So this uh, thing here is is the name of the class, and and this would give me the functionality, or, or this would give me the power to access the date field created at which i've created in my view all right now here the format which i'm looking for in specific uh would be a pattern all right and here i can you know give the required pattern that i'm looking for it would be a y y y y slash dd slash mm i mean the, the the pattern can be okay the month should be in capital the pattern can be chosen from okay now uh, once i'm done with this i would like to return a value okay and this okay, let me just close this here 
okay i want to return the value and what would i like to return i would like to return the or date format followed by format which should get me the new date and i want that to have the same value which i am passing here or you know which is being considered here all right now closing this now if this is not happening by any chance then because i've given an if statement i would also have to come up with an else statement else i just wanted to return the value you know nothing else so i just hope it works keeping my fingers crossed let me just check okay return or date format capital f all right format new date and here goes the value that we are looking for all right everything seems perfect to me as of now <coughs> save going back to my index let's see if we would be great so we have things working here and i'm able to see that the date is you know changed now now um we initially wanted a ddm and yy so that can be accessed from here you can just you know enter the required pattern that you're looking for all right and come here just refresh this and you would see that it's changed but then there's one thing that i want you to understand before we call it a day would request you to make a note that you should never enter only two uh, digits of <clears throat> of the year which is only yy uh, wherein if, and if you do that you would be having results which are which might not be you know very favorable so would ask all of you to make a note of that just in case all right so that is what we have for today's session so the aim of the session has been covered we have understood what is a formatter and how do we use a formatter we have seen how do we connect a view to a formatter and some basic level data binding as well so i hope you have enjoyed watching today's session and if yes that's the case then would uh ask you to you know hit a like button to encourage us to make more and if there's any query that you have or if there's anything that you want to ask or if there's further uh you know insights on the training program that you want to talk to us about you always have the comment section or you have the website that you can visit to which been mentioned in the description section below you can also follow us for regular updates and hit the subscribe button and the bell button as well for regular notifications and would request you to share this if there's anyone that you feel might come in hand you know with this material that's being made uh and if you have enjoyed it do stay subscribed to our channel as there is a lot yet to be exchanged between us and a lot of knowledge yet to be shared thanks a lot have a great day out there happy coding happy growing